Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. It is Thursday, and I'm about to clean my makeup brushes. Um, I have them right here. Um, not all of my makeup brushes are dirty, so I'm just cleaning the ones that I've been using. Um, actually, since I've been working from home, I haven't really been in the habit of wearing makeup every day like I was when I was working in an office before. Um... So, you know, when I started working from home, I still I was still very much in the habit of getting up and getting dressed and getting myself together. Um, but I wasn't really wearing makeup every day, especially since, you know, I've been really focusing on my skincare routine. And um, my skin's really been looking good these days. So my, most of my dark spots have been fading away. So I was really excited to not really wear makeup every day. But in an attempt to kind of get myself out of this seasonal depression, which really hit me hard this year, um, I've been, on um, the past few weeks, I've kind of been getting back into wearing makeup, not every single day and definitely not a full face, but just a little something, kind of like right now, just a little something, um, but um, I definitely need to get back in the habit of cleaning my makeup brushes once a week, like I was before when I was wearing makeup every single day, so right now, it's been about at least a week and a half, it's been at least a week and a half, maybe closer to two weeks, and I know using dirty makeup brushes is just asking for breakouts, which is definitely not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these makeup brushes, and then I'm going to hop in the shower and wash the day away, and then I'll be done for the night. Okay, so out of all of my makeup brushes, when I'm just kind of doing makeup or I'm just running, around, running out real quick, or if I'm going to just be working from home for the day, these are... No, I can use this one. This one may have really black spots, but these are the only brushes that I use, really. Um, this is for my powder foundation, um, blush, and um, highlight, my highlight powder. I just kind of go in under my eyes and do this. And then um, once in the past two weeks, I did do a full face, so I did um, use this for my highlight and then this for a little bit of actual, the um, like the bronzer shimmer highlight. Um, but I haven't really been doing, I think I used this one too, but I haven't really been doing any actual eye makeup, so I don't need any of the other eye, um, eyeshadow brushes or anything, or even my, my contour brush. Um, so I'm just going to wash these ones right here and this sponge, and that's it. So what I, I use, um, baby shampoo or baby wash, um, this, I use this to wash my makeup off and to wash my makeup brushes, and then I'm also going to go in with this little silicone brush here. Um, I use this when I'm washing my face. When I have on makeup that I'm washing off, I'll use this to wash um, one or two pumps to wash the makeup off, and then I'll go in with the second pump um, here, and I'll wash again just to make sure all the stuff are nice and white before I go in with my actual face cleanser, like my anti-aging cleanser and stuff like that. I want to make up. Want to make sure all the actual makeup is off before I go in with my cleanser, and then I use this to. Um, I have like three of these, and this I have one in my travel bag, and one. It's like a teal color that matches the silicone um, body loofah that I use in the shower. But for the most part, this is the only one of this size that I use on a regular basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these brushes clean. It ain't gonna take but a minute since it's just these few. Then, like I said, I'm gonna hop in the shower and be done for the day.
Hey girl, hey. It is Friday and I am currently sitting and waiting for our curbside grocery order. And girl, it done got cold again. So yesterday we had got up to about 80 degrees. Today we, it's currently 40 something degrees. We're not supposed to get above the mid 50s. And it just stopped raining not long ago. And it's supposed to be cold all the way through like Tuesday next week, about Wednesday, Thursday, we're supposed to get back up to the 70s, but it's supposed to start raining again. I I can't with this weather, this back and forth, all this wet, dry, cold, hot. I think I'm going to take me like a just-in-case Zyrtec because I know this weather, my allergies are about to go crazy. All right, girl, this is our two-week grocery haul. Um, all of this was about 180 something dollars, almost $190, but this is for two weeks for two grown folks that do a lot of cooking and eating at home. So we got um, eggs. Um, I like to make salads with this bacon ranch tuna, some catfish fillets. I got some everything flavored um, salmon, some turkey bacon, broccoli ground turkey some andouille sausage i got these um boca burgers i really really like these these are meatless patties we like the chicken ones as well um these are the carbonated waters that i like some vegetable oil i got this non-dairy coffee creamer the little um creamer pods or whatever you call them um, i have the same flavor of the non-dairy powder creamer and I really like the flavor but I feel like the non-dairy the powder creamer didn't really blend into my tea the way I liked it so I'm going to try these um, and I actually also got some new tea this um, cinnamon spice and the raspberry hibiscus I'm really excited to try those I got some whole wheat um, English muffins some whole wheat hamburger buns a um, couple of different um, types of flavored rice miracle whip some coconut based yogurt um, some spices right there, some whipped plain cream cheese and butter. I got these. My husband likes to take these on his truck um, as well as these. These pre-made salads right here are so, so, so good. So good. I like to make a different a, a version of these at home with slightly different ingredients, and that's really good as well, but that's this is where I got the idea. These are so good. Um, some Activia, some steamed vegetables. I got, I actually got the, I ordered the strawberry flavored applesauce and they were out of those. So they got me the cinnamon. I'm going to try those and see how I like it. Taco seasoning, some canned goods, a potato, onion, green pepper, lime juice. I like to mix that in my water, that and um, lemon juice, either or. Um, some jalapenos, Roma tomatoes, some green leaf lettuce, which is my preferred lettuce a really nice size pineapple and some spinach and for the most part that is the food we got over here this is like the non-food items I'm um, a big thing etc for my husband um, flushable wipes mouthwash Kleenex some more toothbrushes and then uh, we got a, a thing of paper towels um, and these foam trays we do like um, a lot of food prep with those um, this big thing of napkins I actually ordered 250 they were out of it so they subbed it for the 500 for me and then this um, charcoal. We'd actually, uh, we're planning to barbecue tomorrow. We didn't realize it was not going to be nice and warm and sunny over the weekend. So I know my husband really wants to barbecue, so we'll probably still get out there and barbecue. But that is our grocery haul. Oh, and I can't forget, of course, my all-time favorite ice cream, Creamy Creations Butter Pecan. <laughs>
Hey girl, hey, it is Saturday and we are about to head out to my sister-in-law's birthday lunch. And I don't know about you, but I know so many people, so many people in real life and online that have March birthdays. March is a super popular month for birthdays. Um, but we are about to head out. Uh, I'm not going to do too much vlogging at her birthday lunch. Uh, probably just like a little taste, but when we get back, we're going to be uh, barbecuing. My husband wants, some, wants to throw some meat on the grill. We got some chicken marinating, some legs and some thighs, and then we also have some andouille sausage, you know, the Cajun sausage, it's got a little spicy kick to it. Um, and then I'm gonna make some potato salad, I already boiled my eggs and potato, got those chilling in the refrigerator. Uh, I'm gonna make some chili, bean, chili beans with some ground turkey. And then I'm also gonna make some jalapeno poppers for like appetizers, we really love those. And then, um, yeah, that I think that's all, unless I'm forgetting something, but I think that's all we're going to be um, eating good tonight. And um, we got the legs for dinner tonight, and then he's going to um, do the thighs for me, so um, just kind of for me to meal prep some stuff for me for throughout the week. And um, yeah, that's about it for today. But before we go, let me show you my outfit. All right, guys, so this is my outfit. I have this, um, it's kind of... Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's a uh, like a dark navy blue turtleneck dress. Girl, it don't got cold on us again. I don't know if you remember, I was telling you yesterday, it's like back down to the 50s. We are well into March and still it's in the 50s outside and super windy. So I threw on this turtleneck dress. It's from my boutique, Fab Black Me Boutique. Um, and I actually, it's actually, um, I don't know if it's not painfully obvious. I'm pretty small and petite. So this dress does fit me a little loose. And I did a little hack. Let me see if I can. I did like a little rubber band hack. I did record um, a video to show how I did it. Um, I'll post it on like my shorts and reels on IG. But um, just to kind of give myself a waistline in this dress. But I just paired it with these um, black boots um, with a low heel, very comfortable to walk in. And then I also paired it with these um, earrings from my boutique. Um, I think these are actually sold out now that I think about it. I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, definitely check out my boutique either way. But um, this is the look we have for today. This super cute turtleneck dress with the black boots. And I also have this cute little bag. Um, you can tuck the strap and wear it as a clutch, um, but this is definitely sold out from my boutique. I just think it's so cute. This sold out, I think, sometime last year, but that is today's look. And like I said, we're about to head out to my sister-in-law's birthday lunch, and then we'll be back to barbecue at the house. Oh, also, I did, I did go ahead and put on the, um, red velvet butter gloss from nyx girl i am in love this is the first time i'm actually wearing it since i got it and i cannot be more in love with this gloss this is a gloss this is no lipstick or no nothing underneath just gloss i love it All right, girl. So we are back at the house. I am changed and got comfortable. And um, my husband is out getting the grill set up right now. And now I'm about to get the rest of the stuff going. Um, we got the meat. It's the chicken legs, the chicken thighs, the andouille sausage. So good. And then over here, I have the stuff for the jalapeno poppers with the cream cheese and the sprinkle cheese for the inside. Then I'm going to wrap those in bacon. And then I have over here the stuff I'm going to make um, for my chili beans. I do like a semi-homemade chili beans. Um, I do the, the Texas-style ranch beans. And then um, I dice up some. Um, I'm going to use a half of this ground turkey. And I'm going to dice up some onion and get that going. And then I'll add like a half of can of water and just let that simmer. 
so good. And then I boiled um, my potato and the eggs earlier. So I'm going to mix that up and get my potato salad going. And we're going to be eating good tonight, girl.